Hi, I'm Valérie Le Chen. In this video, I will tell you about a course I teach called Topics in Household Economics, Econ 0115, so that you can form a view of what to expect in this course and see whether it might be of interest to you. Let me first start by telling you that when I was at the stage you're at in my own life, I found it really difficult to understand where what I had been learning for two years was going. When I studied, teaching in economics was split between theoretical courses without obvious practical applications and descriptive a-theoretical courses without obvious policy prescriptions. And there didn't seem to be any link between the two. So more precisely, there were microeconomics courses, very similar to um, the courses you've been having, in which I learned how to analyze choices between two things, like you've been doing. But I really couldn't see the point of learning everything about choices between two things, because it seemed to me that we make choices between a much larger number of things. I couldn't see the point of choice theory or the point of structural modeling in general. But since I was a student, I've learned that contrarily to what I thought, the theoretical constructs you've been learning about for the past two years are incredibly powerful to help us understand behavior as well as design and evaluate policy. In fact, the model of choice which you've been taught can be used to analyze, to analyze choices between much more than two things. And it's an extremely useful and powerful tool to understand human behavior. So in this course, I focus on how economists model consumption choices of households with the aim to give you an understanding of the power and the limitations of the theoretical constructs used to interpret human behavior in economics. In the course, we will ask ourselves whether women and men living together pool resources. And we will consider, in order to answer this, we will consider how economists represent choices. We will use these representations of choices to examine also the questions of whether there are poor children living in non-poor households and why are there women missing in India. If you enjoyed the core microeconomics course and if you want to know how to use the theory of choice to investigate interesting applied questions, then you would probably enjoy this course. A question some of you will wonder is how much econometrics you need to enjoy the course. You don't need complicated econometrics, but you do need to have an appetite for using simple econometrics to summarize large bodies of data and interpret results. Assessment in the course is in two parts, 80% coursework and 20% quizzes. The coursework takes place in term three. You'll have about two weeks to work on a set of questions. And um, because it's open book, it tests your understanding rather than your memory, which I think is very good. There will also be weekly quizzes of which the best four or five, I can't remember, count towards 20% of the final grade. And I started with the quizzes when all teaching was remote as a means to help students keep their learning at the same pace as the course. To achieve this, I made the quizzes very easy so that it was just about making sure that students watched the videos and did the work they needed to do these, these week, each week. And um, I've left the quizzes um, in this way, very, very easy. Each week, there will be pre-recorded material for you to watch, some articles to look at, and a synchronous session, either in person or online, depending on what will be going on by then. There will be four tutorials with work to prepare in groups or alone. I'll give you some data and some code from a paper, and you'll be able to reproduce all the, um, all the results in that paper, which is um, interesting and fun. Um, there have been between 30 and 40 students a year taking the course and feedback on the course is usually quite good, showing that people self-select um, in, uh, in a good way to create good matches. I have asked, because it's, um, I think, more informative if you also hear from a student who took the course, I've asked Vetan Moev who took the courses, the course a couple of years ago to record a video to tell you about his experience of the course. So 
that's all. And uh, I hope this current video and Svetan's video will help you make your choice of optional modules. And um, I hope to see you next year in my course. Bye for now.